Hi folks, today I have another video from Auditing America where he decides to harass and, well, threaten to have somebody deported. I know, but before we start today's video, a quick thank you to all my current channel members and subscribers. Without you guys and your support, I couldn't keep the channel going, so thank you. Also, if you haven't already, please hit the notification button. Hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment, and if you want, consider becoming a member. It's a great way to show your support for me and help out the channel. With all that being said, let's enjoy today's video. What the press is? No, you don't know. Yes, I do actually. So, so what's for? Oh, we have freedom of the press. You are being asshole by interfering, by trying to interfere with my First Amendment right. It's freedom of the press. You are. You are. You are. That's disrespectful of you. I'm being disrespectful? You are. <laughs> you are. God, you're such a fucking... You're a Karen. Wow, what a Karen. You're a snowflake. Hey, what is this for? You're a snowflake. What is this for? I told you it was for news purposes. And you're being What's super rude. None of your business anymore. It business. No, it is. No, it is not. I'd like to go watch my... You disrespected us. Okay. You, you did... So, because she disrespects you, that gives you the right to call her a Karen. And when she's asking you legitimate questions, like if you're a journalist and this is for news purposes, where can they find this story? You're going to say no. You see, it's because it's not for news purposes. It's for you to do a fraud it and for you and Heather Ray over there to harass innocent people. Because you know, especially El Selmo, that you're not supposed to be filming at the counter areas. Because in some of your older videos, you have been told by the postmaster and staff that you can't film there. No one's this. No one's using foul language here. Why is she? Why is she doing that? Oh, we're doing it for news purposes, ma'am. We we're, it's for educational purposes, actually. I'm sorry. You're committing foul behavior. Foul behavior. I'm exercising my rights. What's so funny about that? Of a it's 2023. You're still wearing a mask. Like, no. Yeah, what I do is on my own choice. Good. You have the freedom to that. So I have the I own. Do. I have my own choice to video record in a public place. I have my own choice to be a photographer. That doesn't mean that you're not being a dick. You can. Boom. Roasted. Say whatever you want. You can call me whatever you want. But I'm exercising the same right that as you are. And you're uh, being a dick about it. No, I'm working on a story you, for news you purposes. You're, 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 being you're being disrespectful. You're being disrespectful. Okay. You have a filthy mouth, actually. Okay. And that's your First Amendment right. Okay. So my First Amendment right is to video record here. So, so the same way I have to respect you calling me a dick. What are you trying to record? You have to respect what me. What are you trying to record? What are you trying right to record? Right now, you. What are you trying to record? On? Right now, you. This is a regular post office with nothing happening. Right now, you. What are you trying to record? On? You made the story, ma'am. So you came in here trying to film this random USPS employee who didn't consent. You have no, you have, you have no knowledge of what we were doing here. Exactly. So stop judging. Stop judging us. I understand, but we're not. We're not here for you guys. Do you? All right. Let me. All right. Let me ask you. Do we? Do, can I film you? Can I film? Can I film you? Can I film you, sir? All right. Good. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I, I don't care about you. This gentleman's being respectful. And that's fine. We have consent now. Sorry. Do I have your consent now? No, you don't. <laughs> My God. God. No, she doesn't understand our rights at all. Not at all. Okay. I mean, we've told her a million times, but she's like, yeah, so you I'll care about his consent, consent, but not mine? I, I actually respect this man more than you. He didn't come over here okay. uh, sp saying uh, foul language. He may. Well, if that's not the pot calling the kettle black there, I mean, in our last video we saw of Auditing America, he was insulting a female officer by referring to her and as a bitch and saying that he hopes she chokes performing a certain marital act with a significant other. Well, that just shows the kind of man we're dealing with. If he's such a respectful and polite individual, why would he say such vulgar and hateful things? And why is it that he's bold enough to say that kind of stuff to women, to women and talk to women like that instead of a man? Because he knows a man will more than likely not tolerate it and punch his lights out have a misunderstanding of what I'm doing and I explained to him okay. and now we understand each other but you you're just a mean person I understand what you're doing I just don't like it no you're a mean person 
Who goes around using that language towards a stranger? Who does that? Eric is actually doing his job. What do you mean not yeah, doing anything? Do his job without being I'm not. Am I interfering with your job, Eric? No, you're good, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. You see, you're the only person, ma'am. Only one complaining and being a Karen in here. Okay. Can you believe this? We got the UPS guy at the United States Post Office yeah, on video. What? You guys get? You guys get along? Yeah. You're so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. <laughs> business hours we get along outside of business hours is different okay well it's good to see that that ups worker can take a joke and well since enrique's entire channel is a joke let's jump ahead to where he has a confrontation with a senior citizen ridicules her about her race and well makes some accusations of having her deported Yeah, you're, 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 <laughs> yeah right. So tell that to the Palestinians. To the Palestinians? Okay. 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 Let me. You can be deported. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Let me tell you something. You're not getting deported. Listen. <laughs> Hold on. You're not. Where are you from? Again? You say you're not. Oh, ma'am. We have rights in America. I understand that. that you are not recording. Don't. Me. Don't record me. You just assaulted me. Violent. Now you could get deported because you just assaulted me. I didn't assault you. I'm, I'm just. I'm, I'm asking you not to. So you talk about your 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 rights. <laughs> what the hell? About <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. She's asked you. She doesn't want to be recorded. She doesn't want to be a part of your little video, and yet you and your little blonde bimbo Heather Ray over there want to go and record this one. You're being a dick. You know, it, it's it's flat out. That's what it is. Normally, I'm more composed and rational, but no. This poor woman doesn't want to do, be a part of your stupid audit, and you can't even respect her wishes on doing that. And I can actually commend this woman for coming up and help blocking you two from filming this woman. Because of what? Some clout that you'll get? Some, a few gold coins from the YouTube ads? She just, she just hit, she just, she just hit me, bro. She just, she didn't touch my camera. She didn't just touch my camera. So what? Let me, so what? So what? You're being a fucking Let me go touch your property. You're being a fucking dick. Let me go. Yes! Yes! Go touch your property. Touch it, I don't care. I'm not a bitch, I'm not a little bitch about it. Well, good. Wait, let me borrow your car then. Oh, no. Then, your bitch -ass then so let me borrow it then. Awesome. What the hell is going on here? This is the funniest. She assaulted me. Don't go. Yeah, she did. It's on, it's on video. It's on video. We have millions of views on the internet, so you're the bitch, actually. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. What are you going to do? Nothing, right? Nothing, right? You're not going to do anything, so shut your mouth. Fuck off. Fuck off. You fuck off. What? What the hell did she just say? She's making it a racial thing. No, you're the one who's doing that. Look, you clearly know from her accent that she's probably a foreign national who's immigrated to this country. And what do you do? You ridicule her. And when she's asked you not to film and you keep getting your camera in her face, she shoves your little camera. So you claim assault. You're such a big macho man that somebody pushing your pathetic little camera out of their face is an attack against you. That gentleman is right. You're being an asshole and you're being a dick. You won't do anything if he was to challenge you because we've seen it happen in Alaska. You ran off and called the police. Your own community ridicule, ridiculed you openly for that. She said people, black people, what? What the hell? Now we got this lady calling the cops. Awesome. What, what do you think you're like? What are you misconstruing what people say? What is she doing? What is, what is this girl doing? Oh, she's going to call 911. It's awesome because she assaulted me and it's on video. You're going to go to jail and you're going to get deported. We're going to find out where you're from. You have to respect our rights here in America. You don't come here and trample on our rights, ma'am. Yes, yes, they are. She just shut off my camera. She should smash it. 
She should just, why don't you try doing that? Could you repeat that part about reporting her and getting her deported? She's gonna get deported. Okay. Yes. Okay. For trampling on our rights and assaulting me. Okay. Do you know that when you catch a charge? Did you know that when you catch a charge? Well, did you know? About did you know that when you address? catch a charge, that's right, the first thing they tell you at court? Can't shit, can't take it. That's the first thing they tell you at court. Thank you. Yeah. We're gonna get her. We're gonna get her license plate. Thank you very much. I don't know who you have. Thank you very much. What the hell is this? Could you stop? You are freaking at me. No, you touched me. You hit me. No, no, no. I put my face. Yes, you did. You hit me. You hit me. You hit me. You hit me. I what? You Why can't. You, you can't go anywhere. Oh, look, the police is here. Awesome. You can't go anywhere. Look, the police is here. I hope he's inside the patrol car, cause I'm gonna get him. Oh, you're so lucky. You're so maybe you should just stand by the police I right don't here. Have a car. I'm gonna get your license please plate. Stop. Please stop. I don't have a car. Please stop following No, you no, you you hit me. You can't go anywhere. She did not hit your phone. She moved it out of the way of her face because you would not stop recording her when she asked you to. That's not a crime. However, what your actions are is a clear violation of Arizona Law 132921, harassment, which states a person commits Harassment, if the person knowingly or repeatedly commits an act or acts that harasses another person, or the person knowingly commits any one of the following acts in a, in a matter that harasses. 1. Contacts or creates a communication with another person by a verbal, electronical, mechanical, telegraphical, telephonic, or in writing means. 2. Continuing to follow another person in or about in a public place after being asked that person desist. Or three, surveilling or causing another person to surveil another person. Your actions of saying, you're going to go follow her, find her car, find out where she lives, so you can do that, is more than enough to grant you the grounds of harassment. Plus, with the number of counts that you have done of these actions... <laughs> You can take this from a misdemeanor level to a felony level count of harassment in no time. Tell the tell the police. Tell the police then. If you didn't do anything wrong, then stay here and talk to the police. Okay, let's go. Okay, so stay right here. Let's stay right here. No, you can't. You're escaping. Yeah, you're helping a criminal. That's a crime too. Don't you ever put your hands on people ever again. Yes, you did. You just helped the criminal. You just helped the criminal. What's your name? That lady just hit me and you let and you allowed that and you helped her. You helped her. You helped her. Stay stay right here with the police. Stay right here. Stay right here so we can wait for the police. Right here. No, you, uh, you see if you have nothing to hide, you wouldn't be running away, stupid. You wouldn't be running away, stupid. You have nothing to hide, right? You have nothing to hide, right? If you have nothing to hide, then let's wait for the police. Well, that's funny because you have plenty of hot stuff to hide. I mean, how many skeletons are in your closet that you don't want people to know about? I mean, how about the simple fact that you were charged with uh, kidnapping? You were charged with attempted assault in the sexual manner. Hmm? How about the fact that you don't want to give out your name or organization you work for because people would find you and file privacy complaints on your videos, getting them taken down? Okay, so 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 call them. You can't. It's on video. You assault. You got it right. Awesome, because we have two videos of uh, two videos. We have two videos. Call the police. Yeah, call the police. Yes, yes. You're gonna learn today. You guys don't put your hands on people. Good, because I got assaulted. Um, what business? 
USPS. They say they're with the news, but they won't provide a name or a source. Yeah, and you have 22,000 people watching you right now. So we'll see who's lying. Sure. Hi, we're here for. Hi, we're here. Stay inside until the officers make contact with you. They're en route now. Thank you very much. Now let's jump ahead to where the police show up and deal with these two morons. Hi. No, no, no. She she can't go anywhere. You see, when you call the police and you lie. When you call the police, how, how you doing? Sorry about that. What, what, what's your name and batch number? Officer Fukuda, 23288. 33? 23288. Josue Ibarra, 25730. What's going on? Josue? Thank you. Well, we're working on a story for news purposes. The post. You're lying. The office doesn't have a problem with us being there, but the customers are going crazy. And this, and this uh, foreign lady goes and assaults me by grabbing my camera to the point where it, it turned off my camera yeah. and then she still in there? no and then runs out covering her face i'm like don't go anywhere there's a police car right there but yeah. there's nobody in there i'm like nah let's wait for the police then then this lady's making false police calls and saying that we're harassing people we haven't said a single bad word or raised our voice or interfere with the business there shenanigans na, 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 na. shenanigans na, 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 na. Now that is a truckload of shenanigans right there that we need to take down. You called people Karens. You used abrasive and coarse language that could be considered fighting words. You also harassed an elderly woman, ridiculing her on her accent. Then you threatened to have her deported. You followed her out of a post office, claimed that you were going to get her license plate so you could make sure you can get her deported. How are you not the bad guy? You are not a journalist. You are nothing more than a YouTuber because all you care about are how many views you get, how many people are watching. That's what a YouTuber does. A journalist would care about the integrity of their story that they're putting out. They would be more concerned about winning the Pulitzer, the Pulitzer Prize or any other accomplishment in the field of journalism. But what you're doing is not anything less than hindering and crippling the first there whatsoever like i said the post office doesn't have a problem with us being there eric is more than nice and and everybody's being disorderly and lying to you guys so that lady can't go anywhere you need her information because we're, we want to we want to go after her legally for what she's doing don't get we need her information please sir hey talk to him Damn! Damn! We need, we, what do you we, want to do with the we, lady that actually grabbed you? She ran. But right now we need her information. Cause what did I, she do? She, was she's just... ca she called the police and lied. Okay. Well, my officer spoke oh, with her. I, I spoke with her. Okay. So, you guys are not going to do anything about the people who are lying. Look where she's going, guys. She's leaving now. I don't have a problem. They don't have a problem with us. I don't even know where the post... I don't even know where the police is back there. I was just going to show you this lady. You have no jurisdiction in here, by the way. Um... Let's just step outside because you have firearms, so you don't you don't have you can't be in here with your gun unless you're a postal inspector. That guy needs to step out too. But that's the lady that that's the lady that that called you guys as well, along with the other lady. They need to respect our rights, brother. We're bringing awareness on freedom of the press. No, you're not. You're spreading misinformation and deliberately lying to the police. Now, the police are allowed to be in there. Yes, it is considered a federal property, but however, not all federal properties 
have the federal officers, or in this case, the postal police, deal with local matters that can be handled in a county courthouse, such as trespassing. The police are authorized to be on that property with their firearms. And this claim that you are not being hostile and being nice is a blatant lie. You call people Karens and Darens and cuss at them all the time. We've seen it in all of your videos. I'm out with my friend over here. She stands up for freedom all the way. So do I. We love, we love to be courteous and professional. We're bringing awareness on the First Amendment. Even though people can say bad words, we encourage people to, to be nice. He's from the bike squad, I think. The bike squad? Right? Yeah. That's we, we <coughs> can I have your name and badge number? Schofield 22674. Yeah, so we got assaulted and we're I did assaulted. I, Oh, I wasn't. Did you? Are you bothering to ask for our vi video? Have witnesses saying that she just put her cam her hand up. We have a video. She did not have the. We have a video. Get your supervisor. Get your supervisor. I don't like you. Get your supervisor right now. Okay. So here's. The Get your supervisor. Okay. I don't want to hear you. Get your supervisor. Okay. You're not telling you me anything. You're not in it. Property. You're not investigating so this property. Call your supervisor right, right okay. now. Call your supervisor people, right now. Right Call your supervisor right now. Call you. Yes. Because you're being disorderly by telling me that I can't be in a public place. I haven't broken the law. You haven't even investigated. You went over there, investigate one side, and come out here and freaking trespass me for no reason? What the, What kind of cop are you? What kind of cop are you? What about the other 50% of the investigation? Are you crazy, bro? Are you crazy? And why do you... Well, seeing how there's numbers of eyewitnesses in there, plus probably security of footage to show that she didn't assault you. She pushed the camera out of her face because you kept putting it in there, your own actions count as a crime for harassment. Also, you yelling and causing a scene would be considered disorderly conduct in the state of Arizona. Not to mention, if you're so sure they can't do that, why are you so upset? But let's jump ahead to the supervisor coming up and dealing with this particular idiot. Hi, how's it going? Can I have your name and batch number, please? Sergeant. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to give you some space. Oh, I'm good. Awesome. What's Spain, your name? 17709. Thank you. Um, I requested that you come over because huh? uh, Officer Scofield over here went inside, investigated 50% of the <laughs> of the incident, and then comes outside with a conclusion without investigating at all our side of the story. And I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold, hold your horses. Uh, some people called the police and lied. I got assaulted. It's on video. Everybody that, that spoke to you, nobody has shown you a video, sir. Okay. So, so we're here. Video you want we do. We have, we have thousands of people watching. Hey, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Us right now. And, and what we're doing is bringing awareness on our rights. So we know that we can't break the law. We know how to conduct ourselves. We know that we, as long as we're not interfering with the business, we have the right to be in there. And it's approved by the postmaster, the supervisor, or anybody that is in there uh, didn't have a problem with us filming. But then everybody starts calling the police. And Officer Scofield over here goes in there and, and solicits a trespass, which is unethical. How do you go in there and say, hey, do you guys, do you guys want to trespass? Can't do that. Unless. I have to wonder, what is it like to go around in life wrong about almost everything you spout off? But no, it's not soliciting a trespass. You were interrupting people from conducting their business. You were going up to the counters, which they could have asked you to stop going up there, but you probably wouldn't have. You were interfering with the customers by insulting them, by calling them Karens or Darens or telling them to shut up and using profane language. So he would be in his rights to ask them if they would like you trespassed or removed from the property. Also, we went over this before, we'll go over it again. The local PD have jurisdiction in the post office. If it's something that can be solved in a county court, they have jurisdiction to handle that issue. The postal police and the postal inspector would not need to be involved. So I've broken the law, yes. If I broke the law, indeed. And, and we respect private property. That's why I was telling everybody. All these businesses, if they call you guys from any of these businesses, yes, you guys can trespass anybody from those businesses because those are private property. 
But not only we have uh, access here because it's public property, but we have freedom of the press. We have the right to work on stories in there. Not just CNN and Fox News. Independent journalism is, is a big thing in this generation. And we are bringing awareness on our constitutional rights. The same ones that you guys are out there supposed to protect. So I'm just waiting for the postal police. That's the people who are in charge here of enforcing any laws in there. You guys can come here and net neutralize any situation. But the person in charge of enforcing the law in federal property is, is the postal police. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Okay. So if I'm getting... Well, it, it is. I, I, it is. It's on. It's 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 on. It's on paper. This is, this is their jurisdiction. You guys have a contract where where you guys can con Yes, like I said, you guys can come in here and interfere with any any crime or any disturbance or anything that's going on here to neutralize the situation. But well, the per we can also but you can't. You ha the the per correct protocol is to contact the postal inspector. No, that's not correct. Yes, they're the ones in charge of enforcing the law. Federal crime. It's not federal crime. It is. It's the post office. Okay. You guys have. I, well, we can go back and forth on this. Salt and show that video to us so that we can. I, I don't want to make a report. I don't, because don't. the lady left. She obviously was. A of course, he doesn't want to show the the video because he knows it would make him look bad, and he doesn't want to get called out by all the other frauders again for being a coward. I'm in the video here. He gets his way by going back inside, and makes all these crazy arguments that have no relevancy to his case. I want to commend the woman in the mask who helped that elderly lady get away from Enrique and Heather. That's more of the kind of people we need in this world. Someone who's willing to help out their fellow man or woman against these jack wagon frauditors. So if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. If you haven't already, please consider becoming a member. With all that being said, be well, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. A special thanks to all members of the news team. Without you guys and your support, I couldn't keep the channel going, so thank you from the bottom of my heart.